In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I am continuing with the Rebirth GUI. Our focus today is to get this working. When the player clicks on the clicker, the player is then able to click a button to rebirth. Today, I am writing the script for this, as well as setting up a remote event. Let's get straight into it. Click on Starter GUI. First, what I am thinking is. When we click the clicker, we need to send a message from the client to the server. To tell the server, to update the rebirth table and adjust the clicks balance. To do this, we need to add a remote event. Which we will do in a second. First, let's check our clicker script. Click on clicker GUI, and open this local script, so we can have a look. This script, checks if the clicker button is clicked. And connects to this on button, activated function. So inside this code on this line, is a good place to fire our rebirth event from. Let's create a new remote event. To do that click the plus sign next to replicated storage and choose remote event. Now rename this to add rebirth. Add a line here on line 4, to connect to the remote event we just added. Make sure you have this spelt exactly the same in both places, and same case. And then on line 12, add this line of code to fire the event. Of course nothing will happen yet as we need to connect to this event on the server. So let's check on that now. Under the server script service, we have a script called stats. Click on this to open it up. At the bottom of the script, I want to add the event connection and a new function, where we will add the code for our rebirths. Let's make some space down the bottom here. This line is a listener for that remote event we just added. Type this out as shown. The add new rebirth event, is underlined because it is a variable that we haven't declared yet. Likewise, the prepare to update rebirths is a function we haven't created yet. That's why they are showing as underlined. That means the script doesn't know about these yet. Okay, let's fix this and add those. Scroll up the top of the script and add these two lines. That's it, make sure you have these two lines correctly. The add rebirth in speech marks, needs to be spelt the same as the remote event we created. Scroll down and let's get started on our function. Before we get too carried away though, what I like to do is this. Let's check if we can actually get to this function. And that way we can confirm that the fired event works. Type this function out like this. Please note, that it needs to be placed above the on server event line we just added. So like I said, to test this we need to add a print line, and see if it works. Add this print statement and let's give it a run to check. So, it should fire the event when we click the clicker. Because we added the fire server code inside the local script of the clicker. Yes, you can see it is working correctly, it has printed out our text in the print statement. So this confirms to us that when we click the button, we can fire the event that calls our function on the server. Now we can do something inside this function. Before we get into that though, let's quickly recap what we just did. And for those of you who have some trouble getting this to work, this is the part in the video you need to re-watch to check what you did wrong. Click the local script first, let's check it. This line fires the server event. The add rebirth inside the speech marks, needs to be spelt the same as the name of your remote event here. Back on the stats script. The name inside the speech marks here also needs to be the same as your remote event name. The variable add new rebirth event, needs to be the same as the variable down here. This prepare to update rebirths is calling the function when this event is triggered. The names here need to be the same also. Guys, that's enough for today. Get this working yourself, and I'll post the next part tomorrow. In the next part, we will write some code inside this function that will update our rebirth GUI. Allowing the player to rebirth. Also, I want to say a huge thank you. To everyone that has subscribed to my channel. We reached over 1k subscribers this week, and I am very pleased with that. Thanks for your support. More great content coming soon. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off. See you in the next one.